everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Alicia, I'm a, a working illustrator. I'm going to tell you about the best piece of advice I've received that gets me motivated to do art. I keep reminding myself this advice when I'm feeling a bit down where I'm at with paid work and it has helped me with the imposter syndrome and social media blues syndrome. Story time! Okay, so one day I'd finished a big day of drawing and working on my portfolio, my drawing of the silk um, and some more things and I was feeling okay, like super accomplished, yep, like I'd achieved lots of things for the day, go me. Uh, I then hopped onto the socials um, and started mindlessly scrolling through Instagram and Facebook uh, because the app tells me I do that way too much but you know, I follow a lot of art accounts, um, probably 90%. and. Kids book publishers and I, I'm scrolling through and I see a lot of kids books um, super beautiful phenomenal works of art that is just that are just polished and just stunning and uh, every scroll that I'm doing is just getting me down and down and I say to myself what am I doing I'm so silly I'll never be as good as this like no publishers ever gonna pick me um, they're published illustrators I'm not uh, and I never will be. So with dejected tail between my legs, I go and join my partner on the couch and let out a big sigh. <gasps> Explain how I feel and show him some of the art that I saw. Um, and he just sits there and simply says, there's enough room in this world for all of you. Oh and right then, something shifted in my mind. There is enough room for all of us, one way or another. Someone somewhere out there, and I'm hoping it will be a book publisher for me, will like your work and pay you for it. Which brings me to my next point. Keep drawing keep thinking and give social media a break with mindless scrolling. By all means, post away, think of new content, do some dance reels, and it will resonate with your followers. You see, I just needed a pragmatic voice just telling me that there is enough room for us all out there and we just need to keep creating to find out where we fit into this deep chasm of creativeness out there. There are so many artists out there and it can get overwhelming, but if you keep creating what you love to do and don't try and pressure yourself to make it perfect and pressure yourself to get paid straight away, then, and you love the practice and you love the journey and you love the hard work enough, it will pay off. I hope you enjoyed this um, little piece of advice. Uh, remember to subscribe to hear more like this and tips to help you draw in a realistic style. Bye.